but you can take these propeller guards off and you can fold the drone up like this on all. So first, um, what comes in this baggie is an extra set of propellers. Um, these four propeller guards came in that too. Um, this, I haven't figured out what it's useful for, but in the long run, I'll figure that out. This is the charger for it. And also, you can charge it with the remote right here. You have to turn on the transmitter, and then this will be blue. And then when it's fully charged, it'll turn red. Here's a screwdriver, and here's four extra screws. So, first, you turn on your drone with this little switch right here. Turn it on, the lights will turn on. Now you're gonna turn on your transmitter and you'll hear two beeps. Then you're gonna hold these outside until you hear a beep. Those will turn on automatically. Then you press this to take it off. Then this is up, down. This is left, right, forward, backward. Um, this one right here is, so it's on speed one right now. That's speed two, and that's speed three. I prefer it on speed one for beginners. Um, if you're more advanced, I'd put it on speed two or speed three. And then this is the land button, like that. And then this is the takeoff button. And then this is the one key return. It will go that way and come back to you. And when you find it, you can either get this to take control of it, or you can hit the location thing again. Then you've got headless mode, where whichever way it's facing, you can fly it in a certain direction. So, woohoo! <laughs> okay. Um, now, as you can see when the lights are blinking, that means the battery's running out. But, here's the trim buttons. And to do a flip, I'd recommend to be about 10 feet up in the air with your drone. Um, and then you can press this button in, and then do this, um, whichever way you want it to flip. And then this, right here is a high speed rotation. So I'm gonna do that in more open space so it doesn't crash into anything. So, you're gonna turn on the drone, turn on the transmitter, pull these out like that, start spinning, let's take it off. Then we're going to do the high speed rotation. Like that. I would recommend to do that high speed rotation if they're more advanced. Because um, when you press the button to stop it, it stops in any direction where it's facing. So whereas the front is facing me right now. So I'll have to turn it back and make sure it's good. So we're just gonna go over what's on the transmitter one more time. So this is the power button right here. Press it, it turns on, and it beeps twice. We're gonna turn that off. Um, this is the speed. So it, it'll automatically turn on with speed one. Um, so if you press it, it'll go to speed two, and then speed three. So let's turn it on again. So you'll hear speed two, speed three, speed one. Then this is the high speed rotation where the drone just goes wee, just spins around um, until you press that button again to stop it. Um, this is the land button, this is the takeoff button. This is the up and down um, turn, like if you do that, it'll go like that or that. Um, this is forwards, backwards, 
left and right. Um, this is the location. Um, it'll come back to you. But just as a warning, if you you have to face the back of the drone facing you, so that it comes back to you. Um, and if you turn it at all, make sure you turn the back facing you again, so that when you press that, it comes back to you. Because if it's facing a different direction, it could cause damage or loss of the drone. Um, this is headless mode. Um, again, have the back facing you, so that um, you don't mess anything up or crash it into anything. Um, what I like about headless mode is that if you turn it backwards and do it forwards, it will go that way. If it's facing sideways and do it forwards, it will go that way. That's why I really like headless mode, um, but it's up to you. And these are the trim buttons. This makes it um, go forward, backwards, um, right, and left. Thank you for watching, and please like, subscribe, and share.